Good morning and welcome back to another video. Yesterday we worked on these beautiful earrings using these amazing beads, Samos and Amos beads together. And I think they came out so pretty. I said I wanted to do a ring and while I had all of the beads on the board, I said, yes, I'm gonna do the ring this morning. So that's the project we're gonna do today is a matching ring. And what I wanted to do, it's only half done. I'm gonna sew it up with you on camera. What I wanted to do was not take away from that pattern. So I did not wanna add anything extra, no extra bling or anything. The same with this set. I love it, the simplicity of it, and it stands out really, really pretty when you wear it. So that's what we're gonna do today. It's quick and easy and really, really beautiful. So I hope you enjoy. We're gonna go ahead, get our materials together. It's the same things except just a few size eights. And I wanna take a minute to apologize. I don't know the color for these. Um, a friend of mine gave me a bunch of them, huge bags of this color and I love them. So I apologize that I don't know the name and when I talk to her um, again, I will ask her. So we're gonna begin. We're gonna need some eights, 11s, 15s, just four Samos and four Amos Parpuka beads and one yard of fire line on a size 11 beading needle and we're ready to begin. Nice quick project. So I'm gonna go down on zoom. We're gonna pick up again the upper holes. So puffy side up and then an Amos. Oh, and it's a broken one in there. That's great, Alicia. Oh my goodness. And grab a few more. Oh, and that happened yesterday, remember? I had a clog, I'm gonna show you what happened when I tried to get through. So that ring over there is definitely going to be just a demo. So keep alternating upper holes, puffy side up for the same most beads until you have four of each, just like this. And we're gonna slide it down. I'll show you what the pattern looks like. Slide it all the way down, leave a very small tail. We'll pick up our work. We're gonna tie it into a square knot. Hopefully it grabs and it did. Give it a good pull. Attach a needle right to this tail. I like to get it out of the way. Anytime I get the chance to get it out of my way quickly, I will definitely do that. Just so we're not, um, fussing around with it later. Oh, I I made a huge error by cutting my fingernails. Oh my gosh, I really miss my fingernails. These are a hot mess. I'm gonna clean them up at some point, but if you all know my story, you know why I cut them and I did not want to, but had to. All right, so I'm coming out of right now the amos i'm going to flip it over it's easier for me to see and then i'm just going to go over one more bead so right through the next one that silver bead and in between that space is where i'm going to pick up that thread space just like this before i pull that loop put my needle in and pull down really hard two times and then run right through that lower hole pull that needle off pull down and you can feel that knot go right through and then burn as close as we can now we just have to run around this whole piece so i'm going to go through all the beads again just so it's nice and secure excuse me and no thread is showing. Something got me good because my allergies are just terrible this morning. I woke up so stuffy. I think it's just the weather. It's been really, really humid here in Connecticut. It's just difficult breathing uh, to begin with, but the extra humidity does not help things. So round and round we go. 
Here comes the knot, so just go right by that knot and continue until you feel that it's nice and solid. You'll definitely feel it get very, very secure and no threads will be showing. So I'm just going around and pulling really hard and definitely check your holes. Check the holes of the beads because I'm gonna go through this same most right now, lower hole and make a turn and come out the upper hole. I'm actually gonna flip the work over and pick up 111 and we're gonna go into each space with 111 on the needle. All the way around. And I'm gonna show you in a second what happened when I tried to <laughs> unclog that Samos bead. It broke. I was so sad because I always like to have um, two rings in case I want to give one away, make or sell it or whatever. Um, mm. But yeah, it broke. I salvaged it. I covered it up, but I'm not going to ever, you know, sell it or take the chance of having it break on somebody. Last 11. So we're just going to go through the Samos, the next 11. All right, I'm going to go through it one at a time. So I'm not struggling there. 11. Amos and the next 11 and so we're only going to decorate over two of the same beads like on this ring right here see how I only did it over two and then we start the band right here and that broken part let's see I hit it pretty well but I know it's there so I tried to get through and there it is. See how a whole chunk of that came off right there? So, unfortunately that, I mean, I still salvaged the other beads, but unfortunately it popped. So it is a good idea to make sure you check your holes before you begin so you don't run into a problem like that. So one, two, three, four, five, five fifteens. Jump right over that and into the next group of beads. The 11, this one, and the next 11. Now here, we're going to pick up four eights and go through this 11. And the next group, and then we'll add our five fifteens. over that beautiful Samos bead. So one, two, three, four, five, right over and in. Yeah, I could have gone crazy. I could have gone crazy decorating and then I said, I want it simplified because I went out to get um, lunch um, a couple days ago at one of my favorite places that you know, I still want to support, even though it's takeout now. It's all takeout, but it's a family-owned place that I want to support and make sure they're still there because they've been there for 40 years. It's my favorite place in the world to eat. They have amazing pizza and just amazing food. But um, I wore it out, this set out, and she said, wow, that is absolutely beautiful. And sometimes I think the simplest look is the better i mean this ring i get a lot of attention for too the shine ring but sometimes simple is definitely better because i don't want to make it overly bulky and heavy and all that stuff so anyway sorry i get off topic we're just weaving around through the 15s until we get to that group of eights right over there. That's all I'm doing is weaving to that area. And I'm trying to do a lot of projects that I wanna show you. I am going to have surgery on the 8th of July, so I won't, I will not be beating for a while after that, which I'm really bummed about, but definitely need the surgery so 
All right. So see how they're not close together and you know how I am whenever I do herringbone. It has to be nice and close together. So I'm coming out this stack of eights. I'm going to run down this stack of eights and just up one this time and put my needle in the board and I'm going to really, really pull down. You feel like you're going to break the work, the thread, but you're not. Then right back down that one eight again, trying to do it without covering anything up. And now up two eights, give it a good pull again. And then right down that one and right up this one and pull really hard. There we go. So they're all lined up and ready to go. So now we're going to switch to our 11s and we're just going to do the herringbone like I always do because it's my favorite. It's the most comfortable for me. But you can, you know, choose whatever band you like. So I have two 11s. I'm coming out this eight. I'm just going to go down this one. Right back up the eight and the 11. And now it's just straight 11s for the entire ring. So two 11s, down one, keep a nice high tension. And yep, it's good and, and tight in that area. Pull, and you will continue that until you've reached the desired length that you want for your ring, whatever finger you wanna wear it on. So keep adding your 11s just like this, two, down one and then up two. All right, so we're gonna move over. I'll show you how to close. Let me just make some space here so we can see nice and clearly. Okay, so here's the ring. I wanna flip it upside down. Make sure there's no twists in this band. And then I'm gonna put my finger in there just like this so I so it doesn't twist on me as we do this part. And this is so easy. So we're coming out of the right side of the 11s. I'm gonna try to do this in a way where I don't cover the work up on you. So let me hold on to it just like this. Now we're coming out this side of the 11s, the right side. We're going to go down this stack of eights, reach straight down in and pull. And then right up these two. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to hold on to and not cover it up. Okay, and pull and see all that separation again. We have to do the same thing. I'm just flipping it around so I can hold on to it a lot better. And I'm gonna go down just a couple of eights because I need, I mean, 11s just because I need that a little secure. All right, so right back up that 11. And then we're gonna do the same move that we did. So up through that one eight, down one, pop your needle in and pull down just like that. See how it straightened it right out. And then right back up the eight. Pull and then down the two eights. Up that second one. Right back down just so they're laying right next to each other and I have to pull a lot harder. And so since we have extra thread, you know I'm going to run it all the way down the band. So all the way around, all through these 11s. And take your time. No hurry, no rush. And that's it. That's a nice, quick, and easy Friday project. And I love it. I absolutely love this design. Truly beautiful. Speaking of that, today is pizza day for me. <laughs> pizza is my favorite food. It is my splurge food. I don't um, get to go out very often, but when I do, I will definitely go for pizza. All right, right back down. I just love it. Because you can make, I mean, you can pick anything you want. 
I'm not into, um, I don't eat much meat. I like vegetables, so I always get, oh, it's delicious. I always get, it's a white vegetable special, it's called. And it's so delicious. Yeah, I don't want to see a good family-run business leave. And that's what I I really was so upset when COVID hit. And I said, no, what about, you know, so-and-so? I don't want them to ever go away. They're just amazing people. And I've known them for 20 years. And they're just genuinely nice, kind people. So anyway, we don't need any knots or anything. We're just going to go right down. And I'm going to run through just a few. Pop the needle off. It's definitely tight. We don't need any knots or anything else. And burn as close as you can. And there's a big piece of thread there. Let's put it on the mandrel and see how this beautiful ring looks. And do I still see thread? Yes, that will drive me crazy. Where is it? Oh my goodness. It's so funny. I just got an email from my eye doctor too saying you need to come in for your appointment. And I agree. I need to come in. So there it is. Beautiful ring to match our beautiful earrings that we made yesterday. So I really hope you enjoyed this project. It was a lot of fun to make, nice, quick, and easy. Like I said, sometimes that's the best, you know, the best ring. The best ring is the simplest because it really showcases those beautiful beads. And that's what I wanted to stand out. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.